Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Petros Foray. In this video on geometry and measures, we will be doing a quiz. Yes, a quiz. This will be based on angles between parallel lines. If you haven't watched our video on angles between parallel lines, I want you to browse in the video section of the channel so that you can go through it. That video will help you understand what alternate angles are when you deal with angles between parallel lines. These are also called Z angles. Also, corresponding angles which are called F angles, core interior angles, adjacent angles, and finally, vertically opposite angles. This is very important in the mathematics syllabus. Let's start with this first question. You have been given an angle marked 68 degrees. It is formed out of two parallel lines. So in this quiz, you need to identify what is the size of the angle with a question mark. And also, you are supposed to give a reason why you say that. Every time a question is displayed, you will determine the size of the angle and then give the reason. I will try to be slightly slower so that you can say or shout out the answer and the reason before I reveal. The angle marked with the question mark is 68 degrees. Why is it 68 degrees? Out of the reasons which we have talked about, it is because they are vertically opposite. So vertically opposite angles are the same. So this angle and the other one which is vertically opposite it will also be the same. The second one, you have an angle marked 45 degrees. What is the size of the angle with a question mark? 135 degrees. How did we find 135 degrees? It's mainly because these are core interior angles. So core interior angles, 45 and the angle with the question mark, they add up to 180. So if they add up to 180, we can find this by simply subtracting 45 from 180, and then we get 135. The next question is, what is the size of this angle what is the size of this angle remember this angle is actually 135 but why is it 135 there are several reasons this is because there are angles on a straight line okay they add up to 180 in the event that you had indicated the previous angle which was 135 you could also conclude that because it's an F angle with that one. But if you have just been given 45 degrees and this angle, it simply means you have to um, tie your reason based on the position of the angle given. Let's have a look. What is the size of that angle with the question mark? This angle is 45. But what is that angle? 45 degrees. Please let me know why do we say 45 degrees? It's mainly because they are corresponding angles. Remember, the other name for corresponding angles is F angles. Yes. So, as you can see, these angles are formed in a shape that looks like an F. So, that's why they are called F angles. It is time for us to look at this. What is the size of this angle marked with a question mark? We have been given 84 degrees. This is 84 degrees also. Why is it 84? In your final exam, if you are given a question and you give the size only without the reason, you lose a mark for the reason. So the reason is these are alternate angles. They are equal. So alternate angles are equal. Right. Let's have a look at the angle which is marked. What is the size? From our previous questions, you should be able to tell what is the size of this angle. It's 96 degrees. Why is it 96 degrees? Because it's a core interior angle. So core interior angles, they add up to 180. Let's look at that one. What is the size of the angle that is marked? 100. Well done if you got 100 degrees. Why do we say so? They are vertically opposite. So this angle is vertically opposite the other. So they are equal. Right. Now, in a normal exam, you can be given 
the same question but the direction of the arrows are facing the other way you are allowed to turn your paper around so that you can see properly so what is the size of the angle that is marked with the question mark 74 why is it 74 these are corresponding angles the corresponding angles are equal as you can see this angle is on the same position with that one so they are corresponding let's have a look at this question what is the size of the angle marked with the question mark the angle marked with the question mark it's 59 degrees well done if you got 59 degrees and why are we saying that that is alternate angle okay let's now look at this question you have been given four lines so you need to find out how they relate you've been given 65 for this one so you now need to apply your knowledge of angles so that you can get to know what this size is this is 65 as you are aware this angle and this position angle here will be 65 because there are f angles then this 65 and that one are also f angles you can also choose to say this angle 65 degrees and that one is corresponding so eventually they are also corresponding to that one so the reason is corresponding angles are equal okay right let's have a look at this what is the size of that angle it's 98 why is it 98 it's because core interior angles remember core interior angles they sum to 180 don't be confused with multiple lines on the question just to make sure you are focused and you don't lose track to the reasoning what about that one this angle is 98 why would you say 98 because it's an angle on a straight line remember angles on a straight line are also called adjacent angles they add up to 180 right you have been given 81 degrees but we want to find this angle here what is the size it's 81 why is it 81 vertically opposite remember this angle here and this one are the same and also you can conclude to say this angle another reasoning could be 81 here and 81 on this part and this angle will also be 81 and then it means they are vertically opposite okay so there are several methods which you can follow to take note of that angle but just know it's a vertically opposite angle let's have a look at this one this angle is what 121 why is it 121 you can work out this in several ways one way is you can say this angle opposite the angle with the question mark is 59 degrees so you subtract from 180 to get this size you can also subtract 59 from 180 and you get 121 for this angle and from there you can now say it's corresponding to that angle then you justify that's all you just have to do easy ways let's have a look this angle is 45 what is that angle let's say it together 45 degrees why because they are corresponding angles or f angle okay it's simply mathematics as you know remember to post and comment below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't until next time have a pleasant day